Hey guys, Kigiri here, and today I have another Tech World tutorial for you all on changing your icons in Windows all at once nearly with this great software called Icon Packager. Now before I get into the tutorial, I want to quickly mention uh, three quick sponsors who really help support the site and keep the videos going, so I don't really mention much on YouTube, so I thought I should start. So of course, first off, APT Host, Apt Host, they host our site, great hosting, great support, great uptime, everything's awesome. APTHost.com guys, be sure to check them out, I'll leave all the links in the video description. Uh, of course, there's Pamela.biz who keeps uh, our podcast running with their great software for Skype, uh, personalization, recording of calls, great stuff. Check them out at Pamela.biz. And last but not least, Shiny White Box, uh, we 493 who also contributes videos to the channel, does some Mac uh, tutorials and you know software like iShow UHD. And that was all provided by Shiny White Box. They do great screencasting tools for Mac. They do great chatter clients for Mac. So really check them out, shinywhitebox.com. And with that, guys, let's get right into the tutorial. So like I said, it's on icons and changing your icons uh, with this program called Icon Packager. Now, first off, keep in mind this is only a trial for 30 days. Um, uh, you can buy it for 1990, $19.99, so 20 bucks, not that much, pretty cheap. Uh, it's coming from a great software company called Starduck, who make Object Doc and uh, they make a couple other programs that you can check out if you want. So just a great company all together. So this... Uh, I was looking along this. If you notice, I have some files. You don't really see my files uh, in my videos usually, but they're kind of off to the top. I have some just scattered files that need to be documented. I don't like, you know, putting them in other folders. I don't like randomly putting them in my documents folder. That way, you know, be all disorganized. I gotta organize them later. I think I should put them on the desktop. That way, you know, I can see them. I know I need to organize them, and I can put them in the right folders. So, but I, uh, you know, I notice all these icons are kind of, you know, I'm used to the whole Windows themed icons and if I want to ever change I like changing my folder icons but I always have to change it each individual for each folder now I was wondering is there a way you can just change them all now I don't know if there's a free software besides icon packager but icon packager is the best I found and if you go to look and feel uh, this is the icon packages is when you download icon packager again this is the free trial version um, you have a whole set of icons you can you know check out random package and it comes with some you can download some I download this one called mad be shiny black and I'll leave the link to this one if you want to download it yourself it just matches my theme a little bit it's pretty cool and you can mess around with previews and the colors it's really cool you can really customize it up and then you click your icon package and you just hit apply icon package now I got my icons at uh, if you go to Debian art I go to Debian art uh, and I'll leave the link to this in the description as well customization and then you go to, um, you're going to want to go to skins and themes. Just wait a second, it has to like, load through each of these categories. And you're going to want to go to icons. You're going to try and find icons. Actually, I think I m skipped it. Sorry, not skins and themes, guys. Go to customization and icons. Sorry about that. Uh, again, I'll leave the link to my icon package. And then you just want to click icon packager. This is all sets for icon packager, the software. You just download the program from DebianArt, and after you get whatever package you want, just go ahead and double click it and it should open up an icon packager. And I set mine by popular all time, so you can see what the most popular downloaded ones are. Okay, so yeah, download your icon package and then just put it in here and launch it. And then I'm going to go through some other stuff real quick. Icons and cursors, you can mess around with a whole bunch of stuff like the start menu, regular folders, regular drives like my videos. Uh, my music, you can mess around with those folders. Settings, you can use large Windows icons. Uh, restore all icons before opening a new package. Apply icons to Internet Explorer favorites. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. Include icon sections like file icons, quick launch icons. So I don't have to check, but if I want to mess around with these ic the icons in the bottom right, which is the quick launch or the bot, actually say, uh, if you have a quick launch bar, not everybody you know enables that. Or you can even mess around with the cursor. So if the icon package includes a cursor, you can you know mess around with that too. So you can just mess around with a whole bunch of stuff, and you can even go into advanced settings if you really feel like that. But I'm just going to simply uh, load up my thing right here. It's Mad, Mad B Shiny Black, and I'm just going to hit Apply Icon Package. It's going to take a second, and it's going to move your icons around just a second. But then all of your icons should be changed, for at least all of the ones that I can recognize what file they are, you know, what, if they're .exe, if they're a folder, or whatever. So it's going to take a second, like I said... Okay, and it moves your icons around, and there you go. It changes them. So, see, these are the Windows Media Player files. This is the uh, Audacity file. This looks like a PSD for Photoshop. Like I said, some programs will stay the same if they have their own logo, like my Adobe Flash Media Encoder. TeamSpeak, Camtasia. Look, notice the cool-looking folders, and they all change it for all of them. 
uh, this is a zipped folder. See, they all change. So, yeah, guys, that's as, it's as simple as that with a software called Icon Packager. Again, keep in mind, 30-day free trial. Download as many packages as you want along the internet. Um, paid 19.99 to get the full version. I'm sure you get some other features, and you just get to keep it for you know uh, <laughs> forever, I guess, as long as you have that computer. So, yeah, guys, I would say totally worth the $20. I haven't bought it yet, but once I run out, I'm looking into buying it. Or if there's a free solution, you know, again, let me know. Comment, send me an email, adriansech at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our websites, adriansech.com, tuckgeek.com, and weurl.com. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and thanks for watching.